Drobshok Nabatov, this young fighter has become a heartthrob of the MMA world. In a surreal moment, he shot his shot and got what he wanted. Well, almost. Now, what if that whole incident was a planted story? A work, as they say, in pro wrestling. Well, this is the version that veteran MMA journalist Ariel Helwani thinks played out. He thinks this event was well orchestrated by the UFC PR machine. And you know what? I understand how crazy power UFC PR machine. Ariel Helwani has made a comparison between the Tajik fighter who hijacked the UFC 308 press conference and Santino Morella with both men getting shots in world-class organizations after emerging from the crowd. So how does this Tajik fighter situation relate to Santino Marella? In April 2007, WWE traveled to Milan, Italy. In an entertaining storyline, Vince McMahon handpicked a man from the crowd to take on Umaga for the Intercontinental title. In a major upset, this fan, who turned out to be Santino Marella, somehow managed to defeat the Samoan monster to claim one of the most prestigious belts in all of wrestling. Of course, the match was scripted and became a trend copied a million times over by the wrestling industry. There's a very, very famous angle in WWE. They were in Italy. They had, they had a wrestler planted in the front row named Santino Morella. He raised his hand saying, hey, I want to get my shot. They put him in there, I think, against Umaga. He has an incredible moment. And then all of a sudden, he's now the guy from Italy who was picked out of the crowd. It's almost the exact same thing. So I was just thinking, wow, could you imagine if they actually planted this kid in there and said, you be the kid who raises his hand and gets the opportunity to, to live out his dream by doing this? It's brilliant. I don't think that's what happened. I give Dana a lot of credit for doing it. This was Vince McMahon and the WWE at their peak. But the story was enough to create a superstar for years to come in Santino Morella. So have we seen a similar PR stunt this time by the UFC? Maybe, maybe not, but the story is incredible. To sum up the story, at UFC 308's press conference we saw something we'd never seen before. During the Q&A, 25-year-old Tajikistani fighter Drobshok Nabatov took his opportunity on the microphone not to ask a question, but to introduce himself. Nabatov Drobshok, uh, 9 win, 0 lost and ask UFC CEO Dana White right then and there for a short notice fight in the UFC. Dana, I don't have a uh, question. I come here for fight in short notice. Dana was honestly taken aback because like I said, this never happens. But once he saw Nabatov's resolve, he called him up on stage. Doesn't right. matter, UFC can't take Dana. The moment was literally something straight out of a movie. So who is Dorobshok Nabatov? He's a Tajikistani lightweight, born in 1999, and he's been training in Russia. Nabatov's got a clean 7-0 pro record according to Topology. Apparently he says he's 9-0, but you know how things are regulated in Russia. Now it appears he'll be rewarded for his efforts. He'll be fighting live in front of Dana White and his crew, but not in the UFC. After the presser, Dana told TMZ that Nabatov will be competing on December 14th in South Korea on a card run by none other than the Korean Zombie. This fight will even be part of an upcoming episode of Dana White looking for a fight. So I am actually flying to Korea for looking, you know, Dana White looking for a fight that's on YouTube. Yeah. The Korean Zombie is uh, is putting on a show. He, he he started his own promotion out there, December fourteenth, looking for a fight, Korea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have him put that kid on the card and we're going to find out what he's got. That night, I'll sign him. So what now for Dorobshok? Your destiny is in your hands. Since the viral outbreak of this clip, Nabatov has gone crazy on social media. This young fighter has gained over 70,000 new followers on Instagram. And why? Because he wasn't afraid to shoot his shot. Even if the story was a shoot or a work, this story is a breath of fresh air coming out of a hot press conference in Abu Dhabi. What do you think about this amazing story? Is the story a shoot or a PR stunt? Can Nabatov pass his test in South Korea and secure a spot in the UFC? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Sports Key to MMA for more of the wildest stories in mixed martial arts. Before you go, on the left, you'll see a video where we explored the Georgian MMA scene. With Marab and Ilya now champions, what do these two UFC titles mean for Georgia and its MMA culture?